time to geek out. from Geek Club, the Scout Recon, and the Hexapod Tank. We're gonna be building the Hexapod Tank. All right, let's get to it. Geek time. by using these PCBs, also known as printed circuit boards. They're roughly about 90 to 95 parts in here, so it's gonna take me a while to build. These PCBs are made of reinforced fiberglass and has a copper floral circuit running through the entire surface. So when you solder together the board plus the other components like LEDs, then run a current through it, the whole robot will activate. Also included in the package are light emitting diodes or LEDs. Then there's also mounted device LEDs or SMD LEDs. Next, there's integrated circuit LEDs, which are LEDs with its own inbuilt circuit. Do you know what's also really cool? You can customize your actual hexapod tank and put these cool stickers and change the color of the diodes. To run this robot, you'll need a battery with a current of three volts and is round. It has a 20 millimeter diameter and a 3.2 millimeter in height. So that's a CR2032 battery for short. All right, let's get to it. But before that, you guys need to know about soldering. Soldering is a joining process used to join different types of metals together by melting solder. Soldering can be tricky. You have to hold the solder up and the iron up and the little puzzle pieces but i recommend this will help you a lot or you could ask an adult for help excuse me can you help me it's too bright in here okay. all right i'm going to ask you a series of questions just relax and answer them as simply as you can your birthday. It's Someone gives you a casket and wallet. Huh? Huh? What? You're watching television. Suddenly you realize there's a wasp crawling on your arm. You're reading a magazine. You come across a full page. Uh, you know what? I think I, I think I got this. Dad! Dad! There's two manuals. An educational manual and an instruction manual. One gives us the basics of electronics included in the package and the other one gives us specific details on how to build this hexapod tank. Look at that. It's so cool. Okay, first off, it seems like we're gonna be building these two legs first. Let's see. Part 26 attaches to part 34 and 37. Let's see, here. Here, this is part 26. Part 26 is right here. So here's part 26, so now let's take out part 34. Okay. Now to snap off the part that I need. Here. Part 34.
get to work. Puzzles, and I'll uh, see you all next time. Peace.